More now on a troubling situation in Libya and the amateur video that appears to show Islamist militia members on the grounds of the U.S. Embassy compound in Tripoli. The fighters can even be seen right there jumping into the swimming pool. U.S. Ambassador Deborah Jones, who is not in Libya right now, says the video shows the embassy's residential annex, but not the embassy offices itself. In her words, quote, the compound is now being safeguarded and has not been ransacked, end quote. And despite those video images, a spokesman for the Libyan Dawn militia tells CNN that his group is there to protect the embassy. He calls the actions by some of the militia members, quote, isolated behavior. Rival militias have been fighting for control of Libya since the demise of Muammar Gaddafi back in 2011. And just over a month ago, the violent chaos forced U.S. diplomats to close the embassy and leave the country. Former CIA operative Bob Baer joins me now. So, Bob, how would you describe the situation in Libya right now? Um, you know, Libyan Dawn is another name for Islamic fundamentalists. Um, they're not quite as bad as ISIS, but they're not, they're not our friends. And to say that the embassy hasn't been ransacked doesn't tell the full story. And the full story is that Tripoli, the capital of Libya, has fallen to Islamic groups. They are, they are controlling large parts of it. They've imposed law and order. Uh, they're the accepted authority. And I would very much be surprised if the, if the Libyan government comes back and retakes that city. So you, just like we lost Mosul, we've lost Tripoli now. And what they do to the embassy is sort of irrelevant, but it's symbolic of these, this, this spread of uh, Takfiri, what I call Takfiri Islam. So what would be the objective of Libyan Dawn? Uh, they want to impose Sharia law. Uh, they want to take control of Libya. I presumably they want to unite with the Islamic fundamentalists in Benghazi, and they're fighting for that city as well and turn Libya into an Islamic state, which would not look anything like Qaddafi's state. It would, you know, s the seculars have been beat and beaten roundly. And then how would this pose a threat to the, the region? Oh, it's an enormous threat. I mean, the reason that Egypt is bombing Tripoli Airport from time to time is because of this threat, because they consider it a threat to, uh, to Egyptian stability. And the United Arab Emirates has been participating in this bombing as well. But turning these people back from the air is not going to do it. They are, are well grounded and they have a certain popularity. This is not a cult. They are supported by large numbers of people. And I think we have to accept this and, and learn how to deal with it. And, uh, and what is the, the possibility or the potential future for a Libyan government uh, to be able to take control of that country, given right now it is so incredibly porous? Right now, Frederica, I think it's impossible. I mean, things change very quickly in that part of the world. But to turn this around, I just don't see it happening. Khalifa Haftar, um, the secularist with an army, has not been taking ground. He's getting beaten in Benghazi today. I just don't see this turned around anytime soon. And we're just going to have to wait for this to take its course, which may not be. You know, the country is full of arms, and a lot of these arms are being sh shipped to Islamic groups in sub-Saharan Africa like Mali in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So this could spread the chaos.